In this quick video, I'm going to show developing from an observation or a picture to an interaction diagram. We'll start with an observation or a picture, and in this case I have a block sliding at constant velocity down a ramp. Our next step is to go ahead and consider any objects that may be in the system or interacting with an object we wish to analyze. In this case, I've listed block, floor, ramp, and earth. We'll go ahead and isolate each of those as block is an object in of itself, likewise the ramp, floor, and earth. We want to take a look at that picture or the observation and recognize are any of those objects interacting with each other. And to do that, we'll represent those with some double arrows. These double arrows show that the earth is interacting with each of them and that the ramp is touching the block and the ramp is touching, let's say, possibly the floor. Our next step is to go ahead and look at these interactions and give them a name. I went ahead and used some shortcuts here and I went ahead and named the normal force acting between the block and the ramp as F with an up subscript N for normal. Likewise, the floor and the ramp are interacting with the same type of interaction. Earth is interacting as gravitational interaction. Now we notice that this block is sliding at constant velocity down the ramp. We may want to consider that there may be another interaction, though there may not be any other objects. And we recognize that sliding and at constant velocity, there's another interaction, friction. I went ahead and labeled this as F sub F for friction. The next step is to isolate or indicate the object or objects we wish to analyze. In this case, we're going to analyze the block. We draw a dotted line around the block to indicate that is the system boundary. And we notice that there are, there's a friction force, a normal force, and a gravitational force crossing over that boundary line. Therefore, there are three interactions acting on that block. This diagram tends to be a little confusing with a lot of extra information. So our next step is to get rid of that information. Now, working on a piece of paper, you may want to just keep it there. But if you're on a whiteboard, it'd be easy to erase. This is the completion of our interaction diagram.